uh, in the following of SSIS 2012 uh, tutorial videos, uh, I want to talk about uh, web service task, which is one of the uh, important uh, tasks in control flow. Uh, first of all, let's uh, talk about web service. Uh, you know that there are many of uh, operational uh, applications in the world that works with data, read data, uh, manipulate data, and uh, generate some reports. Each of these applications may be written with uh, .NET or Java or any other uh, languages. And uh, if you want to communicate with these uh, applications, uh, you have to actually uh, write uh, code in the language that that application written with. And uh, web services comes to solve this problem. Web services are a global way to communicate with applications, you can send data to an application and receive data from that application. And a good point about web services is that they are completely platform independent and language independent. Uh, you can create web services with Java, .NET or any other application and you can use uh, web services of uh, any other languages in your .NET application or Java application or uh, any other uh, language uh, environment. Uh, the uh, key for doing this is that web services are XML based and uh, so XML is a, a global way to uh, keep the data and uh, standardize that data and web services generate XML uh, for returning something and uh, 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 get variables and parameters as uh, XML as well. So in SSIS, um, the way to uh, uh, in SSIS uh, for working with web service, uh, there is a web service task. SSIS provide feature to read data and also send data to a web service, and um, the key for that is that uh, web service task works with web service definition file. Uh, uh, that web service definition file uh, is based on web service definition language which is a WSTL file and uh, web service task will uh, use that WSTL file to get list of services and methods and list of uh, parameters of each method in that web service. Parameters can be set, uh, sent to that um, uh, web service via a package or uh, project variables or parameters and uh, also it can be directly uh, set as some values, some static values. Uh, so if you want to work with dynamically you should work with variables and parameters, if you want to work with statically you can work with values. And the result of XML task will be written into XML file. Now let me show some samples of a uh, web service task. First sample is to read a list of teams that attend in World Cup 2010 football championship. So uh, first of all this is uh, xmethods.net is a website that provides some uh, free web services. And for example, uh, this web service is for World Cup 2010 Football Championship. And when you click on that link, you will see that uh, this uh, uh, is the WSTL uh, URL of that file. And uh, uh, when we click on WSTL, you will see that WSTL is based on XML and describe metadata in uh, services and uh, methods and parameters of that web service. We are not going to work with this uh, web service, so I'm just uh, copy this URL for now. Now I go to create a package for this, for working with this. I open control flow tasks project which I created uh, earlier in uh, previous videos. Now I right click on SSIS package folder, I create new SSIS package and name it as web service task. 
Okay, here in web service task, I drag and drop a web service. Uh, uh, in web service task package, I drag and drop a web service task component from SSIS toolbox. When I double click on web service task, you can see that the first thing that we need to set is HTTP connection. Web service task works with HTTP connection. I create a new connection. For a HTTP connection, the only things we need is a URL, HTTP URL. So I paste that URL here. This is the WSDL URL. Uh, if you need a proxy and a specific authentication to connect uh, to internet from your uh, uh, working environment, LAN uh, network or anything like that, you can use credential or uh, go to proxy uh, and use a specific proxy setting or that sort of thing. So you can set all of these things and uh, at the end of this test connection. Uh, so here we just set the server URL and information to connect to internet. Then I press OK. Now we should choose the WSTL file. I want to store WSTL file in the folder. Let's name this folder as web service task. It is better to create a uh, an empty file for WSTL. I named this as um, football world cup 2010 .wsdl. .wsdl is a standard uh, extension for WSTL files. And I want to create another file I named this as a list of all teams dot XML I put this as XML because return uh, uh, the return of uh, the result returned by the web service task is XML so here I choose the WSDL file. When I choose the WSDL file, I just go and choose the file that we want, I want to put WSDL on it. Uh, this file is already empty, but when I choose that file, I can hit download WSDL. Or if you downloaded WSDL before, you can just address it. So I uh, set overwrite WSDL file as true. And then I say download WSDL. When I download WSDL, it, sh it says that file downloaded correctly. And you can see that this file is already has some values on it. This is a WSTL file. This is not the result of um, a specific method. This is for just uh, showing the metadata to SSIS. Uh, so I changed the name of this web service task to get all teams. And in the input, in the input tab, I choose service. If there are more than one service, this will be shown here, but here we just have an info service. Under info service, we can choose method. There are lots of methods here, for example, all goalkeepers, all defenders, full team info. Some of these uh, methods uh, accept input parameters, as you can see. For example, full team info accepts the team uh, name as a string. But right now we want to get list of all teams, so I just choose teams. This uh, web method documentation shows that uh, what is this method and uh, what this will provide for us. And uh, then I go to the output tab and I choose that my output is a file connection. This can be a variable. You can uh, return result into a variable as well. Uh, but right now I choose a file, file connection, then I choose an existing file, 
and I choose that list of teams which is already empty that's it now when I run this package I set this package as a startup object and I run this this will take few seconds because this should get this information from internet from that specific website so based on the internet connection speed and based on the speed of response of that website this may take longer or this may be faster than this okay this is a list of teams already provided when I open this for example with let's open this with uh, Visual Studio you can see that this is uh, an XML file and this XML file has a list of all team info for example uh, HTM info for example Croatia uh, uh, HTM England Denmark and uh, it has also URL of their flag, uh, their Wikipedia URL, and uh, their uh, country flag uh, uh, as a large uh, picture, Greece, Italy, or any other country. So this is the data that we fetched. Uh, then you can use uh, data flow task or XML task or any other task to uh, get that uh, XML data into a uh, database or doing something else with it. Uh, the web service task is just for reading information from web service and sending information and reading information from web service and returning result into XML file. Then you should use other tasks to do uh, the after things, after creating XML, uh, for example, loading into database or other things. Okay, now I create another web service task to work with parameters. I name this as get goal keepers. So I want to get goal keepers of a specific country. And I want to do this after the first task. So I connect the precedence constraint here. Then I double click on it. HTTP connection is same because we want to use same um, WSTL file and same service but another method. So I do not change anything here. These are similar to previous one. Then I go to input tab. I choose service as info and in method I choose all goalkeepers. When I choose all goalkeepers I should choose the country name. I can put the value of country name here directly or set it as variable. I prefer to set it as variable because this show more dynamic ways. So let's first create a variable for it. I create a variable name this as country. Here is variable pane. When I add variable I can set name for it and data type for it. I set data type as a string and name of variable I can for example choose Germany now I double click on get goalkeepers task and in the input tab the method is all goalkeepers and this will return an array of goalkeepers of that country and I want to set country name which is a string as a variable and when I choose that variable the value can be fetched from a specific variable. You can see that there are system variables here but or the variable that we want to choose is the user country. Then the output I want to put the output <coughs> so for this one I do not create the uh, result XML file I just want to create it from scratch from here so I choose new connection and I choose create file and I want to create that file here and name it as goal keepers dot 
XML. It's good to put a .xml on it. It's not um, mandatory, but uh, this is good standard for XML files. So I say that create this file with this extension. And I hit OK. Now I save this package and run it again. You can see that first uh, this will get information from all teams and then this will get information from goalkeepers of that specific country which is right now Germany. So here you can see that that file created and when I double click on it uh, let's open this file for example with Internet Explorer you can see that uh, there are three goalkeepers for this country and name of those. So this is a sample of uh, working with web service task. Uh, one of the uh, uh, other tasks that we use with combination of web service task is XML task. XML task is a, a good task to manipulate the XML file. For example, as, as you can see, the XML file here Mm, let's go to that project again, project folder. As you can see, XML files may be uh, simple like this one or might be uh, simple like this one or more complex. You can use XML task to uh, manipulate them, simplify them, and then use uh, data flow task with XML source to read those XML data from XML file and load the, that into any destination, Oracle, SQL Server, or any other destination you want.